Hi, in this video I'm actually just going to clarify on a few points on a recent post that I had published. Uh, the post is basically a comparison between hashing and encryption and tr I try to evaluate the performance implications as well as security implications of using these two features. Now, uh, before we get into the actual uh, the meat of the topic, I thought it would be better to first introduce hashing in terms of uh, what it can do. Now, a lot of the people assume that hashing is essentially just going ahead and generating a binary value using some particular algorithm. And uh, while that is true, there are a, suppose, a certain category of uh, hashing called uh, cryptographic hashing algorithms, which is uh, what we call uh, secure hashing algorithms, SHA. So if you look at SHA, basically the secure hashing algorithms, the advantage of using them is that they can only be used in one direction. So it's very difficult to re-engineer the original string by just looking at the binary value generated by this hashing function. So you'll see that there are some pretty decent uh, hashing algorithms here. You can even see that there's up to 256 bits of encryption available in them. So this would be somewhat similar to the encryption algorithms that we have such as triple DES, AES, 256, etc. So for that purposes, as far as the security at the bit level is concerned, hashing as well as encryption can provide you similar uh, I wouldn't say the same, but similar levels of security. Now, an important thing that you need to understand about encryption is that you can't really prevent, uh, ha hacking is that you can't really prevent it. It's all about just deterring the person enough so that they lose interest. And uh, the idea here is that you might have scenarios where you're just using a fairly common scenario where uh, your data is not so important and uh, it's probably not something that you anticipate someone would really want to hack in the first place and you just need to em enforce a level of security that is beyond the basics. At that point hashing is definitely a good solution. On the other hand uh, you might want to go ahead and use encryption if you have to meet some legal requirements or you're concerned about the level of security that you're getting from hashing because uh, one of the disadvantages of hashing is that because it always generates the same hash value for the same string uh, a hacker can go ahead and just hash for every value in the dictionary and come up with the pre configured hash values for all the common words that people use and then just do a lookup on the binary value so the way that we avoid that is by simply doing something like this so if you see here I'm going to use the hash bytes function which is what I've used in my um, in my blog as well and I'm going to use SHA1 for the time being yeah so SHA1 and when I do my name here Jant you'll see that as long as the string is the same the hash value is also the same right so what most developers do is that they go ahead and add a seed value to the string to make it something a little bit more secure than whatever string that the user is passing. This way what happens is that even if the user uses a commonly used word like maybe password or at the rate one two three, uh, some weird combination of uh, password which they think is secure, you'll see that it's not really the actual string that they use but the combination of the string that they use along with the unique identifier that uh, we pass which is in uh, which is being hashed so let me just go ahead and show you the, the difference over here so in this case while my password is giant you go ahead and encrypt my password further with a seed value of a unique identifier and then hash that and as a result the hash value that you get from the hashing function secure hashing algorithm one generates two different values Right. The advantage of doing, doing it this way is that when you do it this way, the only value that gets saved in your database is a var binary number or a str uh, var binary string, so so to speak, and it's not the actual password. So even your DBA can't reverse engineer the password by looking at this information here. Whereas if you're using something like encryption, then you'll have a symmetry key, you'll have a certificate, and all your DBA needs to do is write this query here to decrypt the password from the table. Now the reason why you would want to use hashing over encryption depends on the data that you're trying to protect. Uh, a simple example here would be when you're using encryption what you're trying to do is you want to encrypt data as well as be able to decrypt it. The reason being that you want to store it in a particular way and then be able to look at that information later. A s simple example of this would be if you're trying to do something like encrypt the social security number that would be a place where you want to use encryption 
The reason being that while social security number is unique and highly secure, you also have the obligation of the requirement where you might want to show the social security number on a website front end or you might want to show the uh, the social security number on uh, some report or maybe even just join based on social security number to identify some duplicate customers or something like that whereas on the other hand when you're using the username password you don't ever actually see the password anywhere on your website the password is a one-time thing you insert it it's encrypted in a particular format and you never really have a requirement where you want to decrypt that password and show the password to the user in its plain text format Typically, in most implementations, what you'll see is that the user clicks forgot password and they get a URL and they just change it, right? So keeping this in mind, you need to understand that where you have a scenario where you want to be able to encrypt as well as decrypt because you want the original value back, there encryption definitely makes sense. Whereas on the other hand, where you're trying to do a scenario where you just need the information st stored securely and you need to be able to identify if this is the right value without actually having to go back to extracting the original content itself, there hashing definitely has something to offer. Okay, so let's take a quick look at uh, the performance aspect of uh, hashing versus encryption now. Uh, you'll see that here I've got uh, the encryption uh, algorithm here, so you'll see that I'm basically decrypting the information and uh, I'm doing that 500 times. And uh, here I'm doing the hashing algorithm where I've got uh, again 10 usernames and passwords from uh, uh, the logins table and I'm basically just going ahead taking the password from there adding the key and generating the hash value which is what uh, you'll see here so uh, let's do this uh, I'll go ahead and uh, reset the client stats so that we can just do this from scratch yeah, and uh, I'll execute this we'll do about three trials and uh, let's see the uh, the performance about 16, 17, 18 seconds, okay, 19 seconds, right? So we'll just uh, do this two more times, just so that we can average it out over three runs. And uh, then we'll do the same uh, process for hashing as well. And uh, we'll just compare the numbers. Now, there is one interesting thing that I would like to show you later on once this is done uh, in the execution plan. So uh, again, 19 seconds. So we'll just try this one last time. and uh, you'll see a significant change in terms of how the execution plan behaves for uh, both of these queries so uh, once this is done that'll, pro that'll probably give you an idea about where the performance improvement is happening actually or where it comes from so yeah you can see here that on three continuous runs we've been getting 19 seconds uh, almost on on the dot so that's uh, how long it takes when you're using encryption now for the same information you'll see again I'm taking uh, random 10 passwords, uh, 10 usernames from uh, the top 10 usernames actually. So I'll go ahead and execute this. Uh, you'll see that again I've got client stats here so let me reset that. And we'll do one iteration now. And uh, we'll do two more. So you'll see that here uh, on average what we were seeing is 19 seconds for the execution using uh, encryption. and here it's about 18 seconds we'll just try it uh, a few more times Great, so you can see here it's 18 seconds. Uh, you'll see here that uh, the total execution time you can see here as far as uh, the client stats is concerned is uh, 6,700, whereas here it's close to about 9,000. Right, so this is what I wanted to kind of show you in terms of the difference in performance between hashing versus encryption. Now, uh, let me just show you the execution plan as well over here. So let me go ahead and do the actual execution plan here. 
right? And when we look at the execution plan, you'll see that uh, this is common for both scenarios. Whereas here, if you look at it, you'll see that we do an index seek on uh, the table, but the seek predicate is only for the username, right? And the password actually gets decrypted and filtered in the second step here under the filter uh, task at this uh, the one that I'm hovering on top of right now so this is how it looks like inside encryption and uh, this is how it looks like when we do it inside hashing you can see here that there are fewer tasks associated with the hashing algorithm because uh, the seek predicate basically does the cast convert and the hashing algorithm directly as part of the uh, the index seek itself and uh, again you'll notice that in both cases I've just got the uh, the username and password column as part of the index so this is one of the reasons why I think that uh, hashing does give you a little bit better performance and uh, that's mainly why I wrote that particular blog okay and uh, to round this off what I'm going to do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and do a comparison of the time for one run just so you can see the difference so you'll see that I've created a variable called time in which I've taken get date and then I'm calculating the date difference or, or uh, the difference between the execution time uh, in nanoseconds this is for encryption and uh, this is for hashing right so uh, if you go ahead and run this you'll see that uh, I'll just select this whole thing here I'm doing it for one particular ID it's login ID 56 yeah so uh, when I execute it you'll see it's uh, I guess I don't know uh, how many milliseconds this is but you'll see that it's uh, roughly around 1.6 to 2 and typically hovering around 2 I guess yeah whereas uh, for hashing when we do it if you'll notice here uh, on the hashing you'll see that it's about 1.71 1.3 around that range so you'll see that there is actually a very marginal uh, improvement in the execution time when you're using hashing versus uh, uh, encryption. So this is uh, some of the reasons why I figured that I should probably post this because uh, security wise you'll notice that there is obviously the advantage of the DB and not knowing the password. Uh, there is the advantage of uh, better failover because again when you're doing a DR if you're using encryption you need to worry about the master key and the certificates everything being moved over to the DR site as well and uh, you don't have those kind of challenges when you're using hashing. So the idea here was mainly to get that discussion started in terms of uh, where would you use hashing versus where would you use encryption uh, and I guess uh, we covered quite a bit in terms of this discussion here but please feel free to go ahead and ping me in case you need any further clarifications always happy to do more research and I hope this clarifies some of the uh, points that I was trying to make in the blog obviously uh, a challenge that I have with blogs is that it's uh, not possible to really detail things out because I usually don't have the time and uh, I assume that most people are aware of certain things to a certain extent so I don't really get into the details uh, unless uh, there is an explicit requirement for it so keeping these things in mind blog doesn't usually say everything I would like to say about it but uh, I usually use it to just go ahead and highlight uh, weird behavior quick quirky stuff that I've uh, seen happen and that's the intention there so I hope this video clarifies things but yeah please feel free to ping me in case you need any further information bye bye